What's going on, dickweeds? Got some Lay's sour cream and onion chips. Got a half a deli meat sandwich from Hollinger House Bakery and Deli. Got a cold can of Coca Cola from my fridge. Eh? Got some meat sticks. Eh? Got some ass wipe. We went down to Walmart. Well, first Donna went to your independent grocer. She had to go alone because they only let one person in per family. So she did that on her own. Then she came home and got me. And we went down to Walmart. And I wore my GoPro. And I recorded it for you guys. But you guys aren't going to want to watch it because it's kind of like the same as the last Walmart video except for a little more boring so I don't want to release like the same video you know what I mean so yeah but anyway while we were there we got a pack of toilet paper there was some other stuff too but uh, what'd you get when you were there Donna Where's that? Walmart she got paper towel. Uh, toilet paper. The toilet paper. Uh, a salad. A salad. And underwear. And some underwear. Because of lack of toilet paper, eh? No. No? No. <laughs> okay, not because of lack of toilet paper. Um, and then we left from there, which was boring as fuck, and we went to, uh, we went to Metro. Right, Donna? Yeah. We went to the Metro, and while we were at the Metro, we got the rest of this toilet paper, these three packs. 
because, well, they said there's no limit. So if you guys are looking for toilet paper, this video, today's, uh, fuck, eh? What day is it? Tuesday. Today's Tuesday, so you're watching this on Wednesday. If you don't have any toilet paper, head over to the Metro. They have walls and walls of it. And they say you could buy it by the case if you want, so. There you go, eh? Um, okay, so that's that. Then we left from there, and we went over to, uh, Food Basics, and... Is that where we went? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and there was nothing to film there either. It was just regular and stupid. So, there's nothing to see. They went to the dollar store and that was dumb. So I don't even think we got anything. Did we even get anything when we were at the dollar store? Um, oh, some meat sticks. And nail polish remover. And nail polish remover oh, from my bunk. Oh, the meat sticks came from Walmart. I was fucking wrong. Fuck me running, eh? Anyway, we left from there and went to the beer store over on Knox. And by the time I got to the beer store, my GoPro battery died. And I wasn't going to record the beer store anyways because I just had to go in to get a couple cans of beer and back out, eh? And while I was in there, the stupid bitch says, Are you recording? And I said, No. Because, well, I wasn't. The fucking the battery was dead. I couldn't even turn it on if I wanted to. And she said she didn't believe me. And well, I don't really give a fuck what she believed. But then she got her boss or whatever the fuck he was to ask me not to record because something about security things or something. And I said once again, I'm not fucking recording. It's off. I was recording somewhere else and I just happened to be fucking wearing it. And the big fat dramatic chick who started mouthing off and went in the door about me recording said she didn't feel comfortable. Did I say that she, there was a chick mouthing off to me, Donna? Yeah. Yeah, it was a chick mouthing off. Then her boss, he was a guy that... Whatever. Anyway, hopefully you guys are keeping with me here because I'm not even... I can't remember what I was saying. Um, so anyway, um... Um... So yeah, the, the fat, dramatic chick starts saying she doesn't believe that the camera's not on blah 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 so they said they weren't gonna serve me and so I left and I went to the grocery store and got my beer there okay? it's in the fridge chilling right now um but while I was in the beer store when I got there there was these three sickly looking cocksuckers in there two white guys and a black guy Look like they fucking shoot heroin all the time. They're all scrawny little fuckers. They're like kind of tall but real scrawny, you know. Look like their arms and legs were like Twizzlers, you know, the licorice, right? Real skinny fucking things. Anyway, uh, the two white guys are leaning against the wall. One of them, his hands bleeding and dripping all over the fucking floor, and. The black guy's in front of us getting served, and he's bleeding out the fucking eye. So I'm guessing they might have gotten into a fight out in the parking lot. I don't know. One's bleeding from the hand. The other one's bleeding from the eye. So anyway, the one guy's bleeding from the hand. He's dripping all over the fucking floor, and nobody there's saying shit to him. And they got these stupid little... Uh, I think it was tape that was on the ground you got to follow, and this guy's bleeding on it. And then the black guy, he's over there with the female. When the female didn't believe me that the camera wasn't on, after I said it was off, he kept saying, oh, I, think he's, I think he's still recording. I think he's still recording. While he's doing that, he's spitting like blood that's leaking from his fucking eye. And it's probably landed on her. I don't know if it did, but they were pretty close to each other because like the counter at the, at the beer store, if you've ever been in the beer store at Knox, it's not very big. I mean, it's about that... That much distance between the person serving you and the person getting the beer. And so when he's looking at her talking, he's like, you know what I mean? And 
they're not even concerned with the blood that they're getting all over. She's worried about my camera that's not even fucking on. And, yeah. I think that was all I wanted to say. Did I say everything? I think so. Donna was with me. Um. Yeah. We, we left from there. We just went to the grocery store and got the beer there because, well... You know, people are fucked here in Timmins. And yeah. So if you're going into the Knox Beer Store, um, try not to touch the floor with your skin, eh? Don't go barefoot. I mean, it's still winter time, but, well, it's not winter, it's spring, but you know what I mean, eh? There's still snow on the ground, so it's not too likely you'd be going barefoot, but. I don't know if I'd be, you gotta wear your shoes home after and, you know, COVID, eh? Oh yeah, while we're in there, uh, they got they got mad, me and Donna were standing next to each other after the argument with the camera, like with my GoPro, and uh, they said, uh, I'm gonna get in a bong toke before I eat the sandwich, I wanna taste all the flavors, eh? But anyway, they said, when me and Donna were standing there beside each other, they got cocky and said, you're not even practicing, you're not even practicing, fuck! They said, you're not even practicing safe distancing. Is that what it's called? Social, Social. distancing. Yeah. And why would I, like, they were concerned about me and Donna standing next to each other. Well, why, she's my wife, we just banged before we went there. Why would I, why would I not be able to stand next to her in the store? There's no difference of me standing there with her in the store and, you know, rubbing up against each other before we went there. And, yeah, so they, they asked us to leave, and that was that, and I don't think I'll be going back there anymore. I just wanted to buy some fucking beer. Cocksuckers, eh? I'm still smoking OG Bubba from Cannabismo. It's real good. It helps bring out the flavors and things, eh? Like this deli meat sandwich I got from Hollinger House Bakery and Deli. Donna gave them a call and they said they were open, so... What, what happened? Though? I wasn't with her for the deli part. Well, I called just to ask if they were open and she said, yeah, and I had asked if, uh, are they taking, like, are you allowed to go into the store? Yeah. And she said, yeah, that's not a problem, so... Yeah, so she went and got a sandwich for us because she was ootin' a boot. And, well, when I mean, you're driving by the Hollinger House Bakery and Deli, you gotta stop for a sandwich, eh? And I haven't had meat in a while, so I'm looking forward to this, eh? I haven't had meat for like two fucking days. Cock sucker, eh? There. Now I'm ready to try my sandwich, eh? I don't know what kind of meats are on there, just a whole bunch of different ones. They're always different. I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's ever the same meats when you go back for one of the pre-made deli meat sandwiches. I think it's just always different stuff, so. I see white cheese on there. Might be Swiss, might be something else. I don't know. I see salami and maybe ham. I'm not sure if that's ham or not. And I see some other meat here with some stuff in it. I don't even know what the fuck that's called. And this other one here might be pastrami, but I'm not sure. Anyway, enough about that, eh? Let's taste it out. Try it. Fuck! What did I say? Taste it out? Yeah. That didn't even make any fucking sense. I meant try it out. I don't even know why I <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Fuck! Eh? Anyway, let's try it out. Oh my fuck! That's a good deli meat sandwich.
That's a good fucking jelly meat sandwich, eh? And don't think, like I'm not mad at the beer store people for not letting me record in there. So, that's not why I'm telling you guys about the blood. I'm telling you about the blood because it was pretty gross and, yeah, you, yeah I just figured I would let you guys know because, you know, I thought it was sickening, okay? Did you think it was sickening, Donna? Yeah, I wasn't even going to mention the beer store thing, but with COVID going on and people leaking blood, I figured I should let you know. Most of you guys probably don't even go to the beer store anyway, so it probably doesn't even fucking matter. But, yeah. You might want to not bring, if you do go there, just watch you don't bring your shoes into your own house when you go home. Eh? You might want to leave them out on your porch or something. Just saying. Anyway, um, oh yeah, we got our hands on some steaks today. Donna found some steaks. So, we're gonna eat some steak later, okay? Um, yeah. When we're at Walmart, we got some Jack Link's pepperonis. Donna likes the original one. I get the hot one, okay? It's better when they're hot. Five seconds. There's a lot of sandwich here. Okay. Steak's done, got a baked potato, a Caesar salad, got a can of beer, Donna's got a can of Coke, she's eating the same fucking thing over there, there's Donna, Hi. yes she is, here's my weeds, as you can see, Donna missed the steak with the barbecue sauce, is that barbecue sauce? No, it's... What is that? Mar marinating sauce. Yeah. Steak marinating sauce. Yeah. Okay. Donna got steak marinating sauce on my tray, destroying one of my fucking bong tokes. Fuck! Eh? I hate wasted weeds. I'm taking one of your bong tokes. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. I got, uh, 
a bong toke loaded up, and I think that's everything. I'm going to put you guys on the counter. Here you are, on the fucking counter. Let's move you back a little bit. You can see an extra two inches, probably. Maybe not. You can see more, though, I think. I don't know. Fuck! Hey, eh? I'm not sure. Anyway, it looks like the middle. You need anything, Donna? Paper towels or anything? Oh, you got some? Yeah. Is that going to be enough, Donna? It should be. It should be, Donna. So I got one bong toke OG Bubba with a little bit of a barbecue taste to it now, eh? Fuck sakes, Donna. Um, oh yeah, my notes. Before I forget, when we're at Food Basics today, me and Donna were walking through the store, eh? And a female said, hello. And Donna said hello, and I thought that it was somebody Donna used to work with. And usually when Donna says hello to somebody in the store, they start talking about boring shit, and I just keep on going and do my own thing. Well, today, the female that said hello, I kept walking, and Donna said hello back. But I thought she was a friend of Donna's, I didn't know that she was a subscriber saying hello to us because she watches the videos, the channel, eh? Did I say that right? Mm -hmm. I hope so. Anyway, uh, Donna recognized her from the comment section, from her picture, and we wanted to give her a cigarette holder. Her name is Shawnee Ether Etherington. Did I say that right? I think so. Shawnee Etherington. Cigarette holder to you. And yeah. That's all I got for notes. Sorry I didn't stop. I didn't know. I, I thought sometimes when Donna meets up with other females, they got personal girl things to talk about. And I didn't want to look like a nosy cunt standing there. So I just kept going. You know? I didn't know. <laughs> Next time I'll stop. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to get that out of the way before I forgot, and yeah, cigarette holder to you, Shawnee. I think I don't. <laughs> I should have threw it away. Shawnee Etherington. Okay, let's continue. Steaks done finally. Donna fucked up a bomb. Yeah, that's marinating sauce, not marinara sauce. Steak and spice. Yeah. Or steak and sp or steak. I wonder what it'll taste like later, eh? <laughs> Probably pretty fucked. Anyway, I'm gonna get into supper toke because I want to taste this steak. I've been craving a steak for a few days now, and finally there's fucking steak available, eh? And if you have something to talk about, you can take it away, Donna. Um. Take it away, Donna. I want to say... Take it away, Donna! <laughs> um, I want to say that... With the stores that um, we went to today, in all honesty, right? I think Metro was the best one. Yeah, they were fully stocked on, on the ass wipe. Not just the ass wipe, though. Like, the soups, the they, were, they weren't down anything, like other stores yeah and they didn't have like too many limits on stuff either like other stores yeah so metro seems like the place to shop yeah <laughs> um the shawl uh, across from the so got robbed oh no gonquin mm -hmm. yeah she was telling me about it. i wasn't there she okay. drove by I went to get gas, and um, so as I was coming up, I see a, a cop car parked beside the McDonald's in the McDonald's parking lot. And I thought, honestly, I thought, oh, like maybe it's like, a, you know, maybe, you know, donations at the, what's it called? Ambulance building or something. Anyways, then as I drove up, it was all blocked off. They had like the canine 
the K9 Jeep in the SO parking lot and some other OPP cars and some Timmins police cars and across the road I had taped off and it was two cop cars walking so you couldn't pull in there. So somebody somebody got away with some smokes and shit. Probably. It's usually smokes and money. Wonder what you have to be on to go and rob someone. I don't think beer, like alcohol, because you'd never make it. No. <laughs> I don't think we... Well, a lot of people think because of COVID that the police aren't really... Uh, doing their job. Yeah. So maybe it was one of them people. Because I thought... I haven't seen the police around in a long time. I thought maybe they weren't doing anything, too. The only difference is I didn't... I don't try to rob anybody, so I didn't find out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't find out the hard way, like that dipshit. Um... Did it catch him? No. No, well, maybe maybe he didn't find out the hard way. Maybe he's going to get away with it. I don't know. Two other guys robbed. I think it was a, a break and enter or something like that. But they got caught, too. The same, like, only, like, I don't know how long, but not that long after. They robbed a house. Got a robbery going on. Oh my fuck! That's a pretty good fucking steak, eh? I got some steak sauce. I just wanted to try it without the steak sauce first because Donna used that marinara so Marinara. <laughs> now you got me all fucked up! Marinating sauce, I meant. Uh-huh. And, yeah, it tastes pretty good. But, you kind of have to have steak sauce, eh? I think so. I think it's, um, I think it's safe to say you're probably safer going to the grocery store for beer in the morning than to a, the, a beer store. Those fucking guys look like death. <laughs> <laughs> they look pretty bad over there. Like. Hardcore junkies. Yeah. Like all, fuck. Like death. All oh yeah, I forgot to mention. I would have argued with the beer store people, but I didn't see any point because my camera wasn't working and, well, you know, it was just me and Donna against junkies and the beer store people and it would have been a, what do you call it, dead end argument. So it would have been better if my camera was working and then even if, you know, they trespassed me, I could have showed you guys, but I'll save that for another day. Next time I go to the beer store, which I probably never go in there again, but I may one day if I get bored and film it for you and let them try to remove me, eh? And those three fucking dudes in the fucking beer store, the black guy was a rat. He was fucking ratting on me trying to say my camera was still on. He's lucky he didn't come out of the... He got served before us. Uh -huh. I never got served though, but... Like, when it was our turn to get served, that guy already got served. And we got kicked out of the store. He should have already been outside. He's lucky he didn't go outside because I would have blackened his other fucking eye. Maybe that's why his eye's black. Probably. He probably it's fucking... Rat. Yeah, he probably ratted somebody else out for something. They smacked him. Cock sucker. <laughs> what else you want to talk about? Mm. I thought today was going to be busy when we were out, because today's apparently the welfare day. But we didn't see too many people, it was pretty dead. So I don't know what's going on there. What? It was strange. Maybe everybody on the welfare caught COVID, eh? I don't know, the people that I see today look like, um, gross. Huh. Like, uh, okay, the guys in the beer store, they just look. Those guys are right fucked. They're like, they look like their skin was like gray. Like, they didn't look They got like scabs them. on them. Yeah. And they're really skinny and... Yeah. Well, two of them are bleeding. One from his fist or arm and the other one from his fucking eye. And the other little guy that was with them there, I don't know if he was bleeding or not. He was just being all quiet behind everybody. I don't think he wanted a knuckle sandwich. He didn't look like it. And then the people... Okay, I understand that people want to, like... You know, they wear their face masks, but 
fuck. Some of them look like they were, you know, they were bought out of a fucking second hand store. <laughs> they probably were. Fuck, they're god awful. There were like stains on them and <laughs> shit. Like. <laughs> we're in Timmins, Ontario, what do you expect? Fuck, wash it or something. People here aren't fucking normal, Donna. I know. I. I know they think they are, but they're not. Just saying. Well, some people are, but not a lot. The majority isn't. Yeah. If you're not subscribed to our channel, you're probably fucked in the head. If you find yourself subscribed to us, you probably agree with us. So, if you're from Timmins and you subscribe to us, then you're probably not fucked in the head. You probably see the same problems as us. That's my guess, eh? I think. From mm -hmm. something, we, we you're, you're you're smiling at nothing. What am I missing? You having a hard time chewing your steak with no teeth? Donna's got no back teeth. She's trying to gum her steak. <laughs> you want me to chew it for you? No. <laughs> I can chew it for you if you want. Well, I have them at the bottom. Ooh, at the bottom. <laughs> it's not helping. <laughs> oh, the fuck. Maybe we should have had soup. Maybe we shouldn't have had steak, eh? We should have had some soup. Holy fuck. It's <laughs> still going. Donna's probably going to be out of steak all fucking night. <laughs> Make sure you chew good, Donna. We don't want you to choke. Horrible. <laughs> Having no teeth, bad for on that meat, but it's good for on other meat, eh? Stop. <laughs> I think I'll eat salad. <laughs> just for being with me. She didn't even do nothing wrong. I just like watching them like back and forth and argue and not really argue. I didn't understand what the girl was talking about. I'm just going to go clean up my bowl so I can fill it back up. You can keep talking. I'm trying to be like, I don't know, but like, I don't know because yeah, because <laughs> I was just standing with like, Ed. And it's fucked in the beer store, too. They're giving a shit about not practicing. What is it called again? Social distancing. Yeah. And I hope you guys can see me. I'll start over here. Instead of walking in a straight fucking line to the cash, right? <clears throat> they want you to walk like this. And follow tape. You still beside everybody. It's not switching anything. You're just walking in a fucking zigzag like a fucking cunt. Hey? That's all, that's all it is. Like... <laughs> I don't understand. So, as long as the guy right in front of me is six feet going this way, or three feet going this way, and another three coming this way, and he's still standing beside me, the beer store's logic is that six feet because the fucking tape that we have to follow is six feet. But the guy's still standing beside me coming back this way. It's like at the bank, you know when you line up at the bank, and some people are going this way and some are coming back this way? You're still passing each other. Like, fuck! Fucking retards. I just think if you were standing on the inside, like, you know, and you go... I hope they understood what I said. Did I explain that right? Yeah. 
But you know, like when you're coming in the door? Yeah. Say if you were standing right there, the, uh, the door to go out is like right, they're like two doors together. Yeah. So there's no, I don't understand them people, fucking liars. Fucking yeah, my camera seriously wasn't working though. The battery died. I only brought one battery with me today and if I was recording I'd show you guys the argument because, well, I know I know you guys like arguments, eh? But it seriously wasn't working, so that dumb bitch was just going off on nothing because I don't know, she's fucked. is not fucking taking cash right now. I'm not even joking. The beer store is. Oh, yeah, that's the only thing they're taking. Yeah, they're the only ones taking cash. They don't care if people are bleeding in there, if you're coughing on your money and giving it to them. They don't care about any, any of that stuff. Except they won't take back empties. I got a whole shitload of empties they won't take back right now because of COVID. I'm, I'm not doing the other They'll store. take your money but not your empties. Cocksuckers. What does COVID last longer on? What? COVID, what does it last longer on? Paper money? Which in Canada here it's mostly plastic. Watch your... Uh, your yeah, yeah. Or on a beer can, aluminum beer can. Um, what is it? Paper is a couple days? Yeah, I'm just kind of curious. Like, if they're, ta if they're taking the money, no problem. And apparently here in Canada, because the money's part plastic, or mostly plastic, probably. I forget how that goes. Apparently the COVID sticks to it longer. Well, how long does it stick to aluminum can? Why, why won't they take it back? Was it stick to it for, like, for fucking months or something? I'm not buying it. <laughs> um... What about aluminum? That's aluminum can. Man, aren't they still made out of aluminum or am I wrong? Probably. I think it's aluminum. I'm pretty sure. Um. Well, anyway, don't worry about it. You guys can look it up for yourself if you want. I just can't see aluminum holding on to the COVID, COVID virus any longer than plastic money. So. I think their logic's fucked over there, and they can all fuck off. Oh, aluminum. There you go. Soda cans, tin foil, water bottle, two to eight hours. And how long for plastic? Up to five days. What the fuck? You see what I mean? The logic's fucked there. Anyway, I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> um... I was going to say something and I forgot. Well, you go ahead because we don't got very much time. If you have something to say, you... I forgot. Well, think hard. I... It was just before we were going into that. I forget. It's, it's gone. Well, if it comes back, make mm -hmm. sure you shout it out there. Okay. I don't want to bore you guys too long. You probably want to go make your own steak. Hopefully you guys got steak. It's hard to find steak around here. Hopefully everybody has some steak. Not just the hoarders. Cocksuckers. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get in my road toke. I see we got some new subscribers. Sigurd holder to yes. I see we got some old subscribers. I see there's people watching that aren't subscribed. You should subscribe because, well, we upload something every day and there's always something on our channel for you to watch and there's a whole bunch of old shit we got over a thousand videos so you know if you need extra stuff just go back and you know yeah anyway I'm gonna get in my road to oh yeah cigarette holder to you guys 
Hit the subscribe button to stick around. If you got any final words, now's the time, Donna. Stay safe, as always. And that's it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Stay safe. She's not much for words. Well, I did, I'm not good at that part. I can tell a story, but I can't just... <coughs> well, you could have told them a two-minute story, but time's up now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You, you seriously, you don't got nothing else? Left? No. Okay, I don't got nothing else either. I want to enjoy the rest of this steak and salad and this fucking potato. Drink this beer and smoke some more weeds and probably look for something else to munch on and smoke some more weeds and watch some YouTube videos and um keep on smoking weeds. <laughs> so until tomorrow, like, subscribe, and fuck off. Hey!